welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first makeup tutorial of 2020 i can't believe i'm saying that i can't believe this is even happening right now i can't believe i finally got the guts to get my channel rolling again i hope you guys have been enjoying the content that i've been putting out there lately i really love how it came out but yeah it's just super soft matte very girly, very um, just soft, I like to say. So I will stop rambling and just go on into the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> okay guys, so let's jump into the makeup. Let's get our hair out of our way. So I have my bobby pins right here. I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows as always because I am gonna be doing a little more with my eyes today. Also, do you guys like the setup? <laughs> It's very me. So I'm gonna be using the Pretty Vulgar Eye Primer right here. Whoa, this primer is nice. Today I'll be using the Milani um, Brow Definer and I got this in the shade Ebony. Okay guys, so my camera turned off while I was doing my eyes, so I'm gonna turn this part of the video into a voiceover. But basically what I did was I primed my eyes with concealer and then I took the shade Scafe from the Araceli Jalisco Eyes palette and I popped that on the outer V of my eyes. And then you're going to see me take a transition shade called Sombrero and work that in my crease. And I just repeated those two steps until I was happy with the outcome. I then took a clean blending brush and just kind of sealed everything together. I always do this when working my crease. Then I go in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk and I pop that on my lid. I always do this when I'm working with matte eyeshadows on my eyelid because I really want to make sure they pop. So I never miss this step and I love this pencil for that reason. I go ahead and I blend the base a little bit and then you're going to see me take Orchata from the Jalisco Eyes Palette. It's just a light, creamy nude shade and really pack that on top. And then I'm going to take my Maybelline gel liner in the shade Black is Black and create my wing. I always start from the outside. I create a flick, drag it in, and then fill in the spaces. Then I'm going to take Café from the palette, which is that dark brown, and soften up my liner to give it like a smoky effect. And then I just go in with a makeup wipe to clean up and sharpen up my wing. You can also use concealer for this step. Okay right, guys, so now we're going to focus on our skin. And I'm going to first pick up my e.l.f. Poreless Putty. I've really been liking this a lot. And I'm just placing it on the center of the skin where I get some pores. I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever HD. Love this foundation. It's very full coverage, but very creamy. So you definitely don't feel thick and cakey when you put this on. I absolutely love it. It's been one of my favorites for years, even when I used to work at Sephora. I just, I love this so much. So you really don't need that much. I'm applying some because I'm ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to take my Morphe M439 and kind of begin to buff this. This shade is a little light for me because again I just applied some self tanner so I'm a little darker than usual but I'm gonna do some cream contour so I'll be able to fix this in a bit I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty um, tan tour in shade number one and I'm gonna begin to place this on the outer corners So again, circular motions. I'm gonna kind of stipple it around the forehead area. And really focus it around the outer areas. 
Okay guys, so now that we have the base kind of blended out, I'm gonna take my um, LA Girl color corrector and I'm gonna pop this under my eyes because Ooh, I have dark circles, guys. Thank you to, thank you to college. And um, now a little late night editing, so it's important for me to color correct. I'm just gonna take a big kind of fluffy brush and just blend that out. I'm using my Milani Conceal and Perfect. I've been loving this concealer, guys. Wow. Like, this is high-end at an affordable price. You guys need to go pick this up if you haven't. It's honestly beautiful. It reminds me a lot of one of my all-time favorite concealers. It's actually from Urban Decay. It's their Naked Skin Concealer. It actually has a similar wand to that one. I'm going to show you guys right here. And this is honestly, like, my favorite type of wand to use. But the concealer itself is so... So beautiful guys it's literally like it's full coverage for sure and um super dewy it's just so nice like um, I've been reaching for it more than any other concealer that I have and I'm just using it to kind of clean up the bottom of my wing as well I take a beauty sponge and kind of just blend that out Blending out concealer is like my favorite part to watch when I'm watching tutorials. What's your favorite part, guys? I'm gonna pick up my Derma Blend translucent powder. So I take a light layer of powder and I kind of just press it under my eyes. So then I'm gonna take my powder on my sponge and I'm gonna go ahead and bake the area. All right, so I'm gonna pick up my Olimar Cosmetics Contour Kit, and this is in the shade Medium. So I'm just going to take Soltera and Always Summer, and I'm going to pop them on the cheekbones, forehead area, the nosey, and then the jawline. I'm gonna take up some more of that translucent powder and I'm gonna take my little beauty sponge, dip it in. I like to use my tragus as my guideline. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is just kind of dust off any excess powder. So for blush today, I'm gonna pick up my Benefit California. I've rediscovered this recently and I really, really love it. It's just like a really pretty neon peachy shade. Very um, summer appropriate. I'm just gonna pick up my little blush brush here and pop that on. I don't think I want any highlighter today, so I'm going to finish up the eyes. So let me go back to my Jalisco palette. And I'm going to take, let's see, I'm going to take a little shader brush. And I'm going to take Sombrero, which is that transition shade that we started with. I'm going to run that under my eyes. If you guys have a trouble, um doing your lower lash line, try closing your eye like this, because that works for me. That way you're not kind of like irritating your eye and you're not scared that you're gonna poke yourself or something. So if you just practice, you can actually just close your eye like this and blend right under there. I think I do want like a little bit of a pop on the inside of the eye, so I'm gonna take my NYX um, jumbo liner again and I'm going to just kind of dot it on the inside. So I'm going to take this jumbo pencil brush and just kind of blend that. And here I'm going in with the shade Sun from the Araceli Azteca Eyes palette. 
I'm gonna go in with Expensive from Beauty Creations. They're just really wispy. I'm gonna go in with my gel liner and just go over the band a bit. Something I like to do is just give my falsies a curl along with my lashes. And I find that this really helps to um, just blend everything together and make it look a lot more natural. All right, so I'm just gonna do some mascara. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. And I'm gonna go in with Dulce Lip Liner from Olimar Cosmetics. I want a little bit more dimension. I'm gonna pick up Bittersweet from MAC. And I'm going to line the outer corners here. And I'm going to take my lip brush and I'm going to blend the liners. I'm going to pick up Sephora's lip cream in shade number 32, and I believe this is Nude Crush. But I've actually never tried this shade before, so let's see how it goes. It's pretty. It's not as a, uh, it's not as gray as my pink puny that I always wear. But I like it. But I'm gonna pick up this Tarte Nude, um, what is this? Quench Lip Rescue. And I'm gonna pop this on top. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's better. I'm just gonna um, set my skin with All Nighter Setting Spray. All right guys, so this is the completed look. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe on this video. It really helps to support my channel. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys on my next upload.